Hi everyone and welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I want to start a whole new series of videos and it's going to be called Creative Wednesday. And yes, as you might have guessed by the title, I want to try and upload a creative video every Wednesday. And most of it is going to be uh, card making. Uh, I'm a rubber stamper. I love stamping cards and uh, so that's going to be a lot of stamping involved. And I also love art journaling and all kinds of other stuff. And We'll just see where it leads. So today I thought we'd start with something uh, relatively simple. I want to make a card with these lovely colors. Uh, I love stamping up. I've got all kinds of um, ink pads and uh, I'm totally hooked on the stamping up ink pads. So this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to take one of the ink pads and open it up. And I'm going to take one of these and just dab on it. You put it on your paper and just give it a little... Oh, you can't see that, can you? And just give it a little twist. And look what you've got. A nice circle. Round thingy. <laughs> and, um, well, you can put it everywhere you like. So, um, just put it on the paper and give it a twist. If you put it on the paper without a twist, it's going to look like this. And that's great also. Can you see the difference? I hope you can see the difference. It's my first video, so I have to try out some camera settings and all, and lighting and... But anyways, um, I'm going for the twist, the twist at once. <laughs> uh, let me just start the card. So this piece of paper is uh, nine and a half centimeters by 14 centimeters. And uh, sorry for the Americans, but uh, I only know centimeters. I don't know inches, but I'm sure you can look it up and calculate what it has to be. <laughs> so I just take the Bahaha Bach. How do you pronounce it? I, in Dutch you would say Baja, but it's Baja, I think. Baja Breeze. And it's a really great color blue. And I'm just gonna put it on the paper, give it a little twist and do it again. And you can also do it again without adding new um, ink and go a bit off the paper. So, that's enough blue. And then I'm gonna take some of this Blushing Bride. That's a really cute color too. So I'm gonna take another one. Just dab it on here. Oh, this one has been used a lot, so it's a little light. But that's gorgeous. So, just randomly put them on the, on the paper. And then we've got Pear Pizzazz. Pear Pizzazz. <laughs> and if you don't have stamping up pads or don't have these pads, just use light colors for this card because that's beautiful. And a bit of Pear Pizzazz. Uh, and one over here. And the big brown sugar ink is going to be for the text I'm going to put on it and another stamp. So um, I'm going to leave that aside. And now I'm gonna take one of these small ones and do the same with it. You just tap it on your ink and just give it a little swirl. Um, I've got lots of blue, haven't I? So I'm gonna put one over here. I think that's enough. Some of the pink. Oh, I love this. Just don't don't overthink it. Just put it somewhere. Just like that. And then of course we've got the green. This one is a bit old. I hope it still stems okay. Oh, it works perfectly. Some green over here. And some green over here. Well, that's nice. So I'm going to close these because don't leave your ink open for too long. It'll dry out. So that's now I've got these stamps. These are from uh, Hero Arts. And they're a bit older, but uh, you just need a bold stamp of flowers or... Actually, I wanted a branch, but I couldn't find one that I wanted. <laughs> and um, take an acrylic block and stick it on. And this one is a bit dirty, so I hope it will stay on. I <laughs> have to clean it. I always take a piece of scrap paper and um, stamp my stamp on it just one time to see if, it's, if it stamps okay. So let me see. That's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp it over here. And... Oh, 
<laughs> Sorry, that sounds really loud. <laughs> Put some ink over there and let me see if I... Oh, it doesn't matter which way around it is, just... Like I said, don't overthink it, just stamp it on there. And look how gorgeous that is. So, now it's time for a nice quote. And, um... With these polymer stamps, it's nice that you can see how it's gonna look. And I think I'm going for the You're an Amazing Friend. So I'll take this off. And I'll put it on my acrylic block. And again, I'm gonna try if it's okay. I never use this one, especially stamps I've never used. I always try if they're, um, well, if they're all right. Sometimes there's a dent in there and you don't get any ink on there and um, you have to push a bit harder <laughs> on that end and with wooden stamps sometimes they're not really straight on the stamp so anyways try them out first so now I'm gonna stamp this one over here and look how cute that looks with stamping up you've got um, the ink and paper in the same color so I really like that so I'm gonna put it on this paper I'm gonna fold this one and it's a bit hard to see with the camera over your head, but I hope it's straight. <laughs> Fold the lines. And I'm a huge fan of uh, this tape. It's double-sided sticky tape. And I, I actually never use glue because uh, the glue gets everywhere except where I want it. So I love to use this stuff. As you can see, I use a lot of this tape, but this is sticky tape from a store where it's really cheap. Uh, I think this is 49 euro cents or maybe 60 euro cents for one of these. So um, I use a lot of it so that the card will stay on its place. And a lot of people have trouble getting this off, but um, yeah, somehow uh, I can do it very easily. You can, if you can't get it off, you can put a needle through the top layer and just pull it off but yeah well I had a lot of practice so now I'm gonna you have to put it all right <laughs> let me see I'm really good at sticking these things upside down so I've got my card like this put it on and yeah so I always check and recheck and then I just put you know what I already put the sticky tape on but I think I would like to put some pink on the edges so you can use these for that, but um, I really like the way it turns out when you use one of these sponges. I just cut them in three uh, of these pieces, and then cut it again, and then you've got a nice sponge. So I'm going to take the pink and just dab this on here and go like this. And I like the way this looks, it looks a bit more distressed than when you use the other ones. Then you get a neat line. And this is a bit distressed. Now it sticks to my hand, of course. <laughs> I think this, this gives a more finished look when you do this. Okay, let's see how this is gonna turn out. I've got it right side up. And just put it on here. Now usually I stand up and uh, look what I'm doing. So maybe it's a bit crooked now. It's okay. And look what you've got. A cute little card. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> of course it said amazing. That's... Anyway, um, you can make a card like this and it's really cute and it's so easy to make. But what you can also do, I made one like this and uh, I stamped a branch on it and I've got this bird which I colored in with some watercolors and then cut it out and Put it on here you can see it's 3d so it sticks out a bit and that gives a nice touch too but just a simple one layered card is beautiful too so these are very easy to make and they look absolutely gorgeous i've sent a few of these to some friends and they really loved it and it looks amazing but it's so simple it's so easy so i hope you liked my first video sorry if i sound a bit from uh um 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 because uh uh it's um <laughs> Okay, that's what I mean. Sometimes I can't find my words because I'm Dutch. It's not always easy to 
say these things in English because I know this is an ink pad and I know this is a sponge but sometimes I just can't find the words for it so bear with me and I'm gonna make uh, really stupid mistakes but anyways um, I hope you liked this video and if you did give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my Karen's Corner channel for well lots of videos about whatever I like and also uh, every Wednesday a creative Wednesday video so bye